Today, guys, we have a review for No Hard Feelings. This is a film with Jennifer Lawrence that is kind of like a raunchy comedy movie that I would expect to be from like the early 2000s. And honestly, it gave me updated failure to launch vibes. Basically, it follows Jennifer Lawrence as she loses her car and needs another one and finds in the newspaper that a old uh, couple says that if you date their son, uh, that they will give you a Buick. Uh, and then all sorts of hilarity uh, goes down from there, from her trying to have sex with the guy and him not really like being into it, etc. And just a bunch of funny stuff happened. Now, when the first when I first watched this trailer, it was not one that really looked that great to me. However, my co-host Jason Nova, he really liked the trailer right off rip. And so after a second watch of the trailer, I decided that I would be a little bit more fair to it. And, and I gave it a pretty decent trailer review. And I'm glad that I did because this was actually a pretty decently funny film. I like how uh, the entire thing feels very natural and very real. And there are a, a lot of like what the fuck moments, but it's actually much more tame than I would have expected. There are two raunchiest scenes, which is one where there is full frontal Jennifer Lawrence nudity. And on top of that, there is the one scene that's seen in the trailer where like there's the guy in the speedo doing like workouts and whatnot. Um, now, this is pretty much the end of my like spoiler-free uh, part of the review, but I would give this movie a 3.25 to a 3.5 out of 4. It was just genuinely really good. It had a lot of really good funny moments. The character development and the characters felt very real, and the overall film was just way better than I expected. All right, now let's go ahead and get into the spoiler bits. Now, there's not too many spoilers that I'm going to talk about here, but the full frontal scene, I think, is probably one of the ones that stands out the most. Basically, the guy and Jennifer Lawrence get naked and they go into the ocean. They must be in Miami because that water's cold as fuck. And basically, she, like, is trying to fuck him. And the entire time, though, the, the, like, thus far, she's just really trying to fuck this kid and he doesn't really know why. Uh, and so they there are these, like kids that come up that are like drunk these drunk college kids that take their clothes and try to run away and jennifer lawrence gets out full frontal nudity and just starts beating their ass like vigo mortensen from eastern promises it was a fantastic scene it was hilariously shot and i just did not expect it and on top of that i really liked how they didn't go over the top with the gross out this was actually probably the most explicit scene that there was and there wasn't really any gross out stuff at all except maybe like one spot where like they kind of have sex but he comes on her thighs and so maybe that can kind of gross people up but they don't really like show any of the things then of course naturally uh the guy the kid finds out that hey this is all set up by the parents and i actually found it they, they did it in a really interesting way where basically the parents were talking uh, to the girl to uh, Jennifer Lawrence on the phone and then the phone connected to the car's Bluetooth and he overheard part of the conversation making him aware that this was all employed by the parents I think all of these things from that to the way that Jennifer Lawrence and this guy interact and how awkward he seems and just how how real it feels to our generation versus just a generation behind us it just did it all so perfectly and it did it in such a funny way Jennifer Lawrence fucking Fucking killed it and on top of that Matthew Broderick looked like he's fucking Christopher Lloyd he looked like he's about to go grab Marty McFly and hop in the fucking time machine you know what I'm saying so that is my review of No Hard Feelings. Again, uh, 3.25 to 3.5 out of 4 stars. What do you guys think? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? Or are you going to see it or not see it? Let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro. And the rest of our links are down in the description. Um, you can Gaming sessions for gaming content. You can follow us here for movie sessions or for movie content. Uh, Crazy Rocky for variety content. And I'll see you all in the next one. Spell or a chance just to open up a newer car